Our starting point is President Moon Jae-in's ongoing Northern Europe diplomacy tour. He delivered a speech at the Oslo Forum on the one-year anniversary of the Singapore summit. The South Korean president expressed hopes of meeting the regime's leader at an early date. Let's turn to Shin Se-min for the latest. Se-min. Craig right, Daniel, it's a lot to digest, but at the same time, a much deserving answer to the questions many had regarding the ongoing process of President Moon's peace drive on the Korean Peninsula and the denuclearization impasse between North Korea's Kim Jong un and U.S. President Donald Trump. But first things first, President Moon Jae in said he is ready to hold meetings with his North Korean counterparts at any time. Listen to this. We are, uh, the... 또 만나는 시기를 어, 결정하는 것은 어, 김정은 위원장의 선택이라고 어, 할수 있겠습니다. 에, 그리고 말씀하신 대로 어, 트럼프 대통령이 어, 6월 말에 어, 방한하게 돼 있는데 가능하다면 그 이전에 에, 김정은 음, 위원장을 만나는 것이 바람직하다고 생각합니다. 그러나 그 역시 어, 김정은 위원장의 선택에 달렸다. President Moon, at what seems to be a way of accelerating stalled denuclearization talks, gave the North an option of calling the time for a meeting whenever it thinks is suitable. Moon also called on denuclearization parties to resume official talks soon. Kim Jong-un 위원장과 트럼프 대통령은 보다 이렇게 조기에 만나는 것이 바람직하다고 생각합니다. 비록 대화의 모멘텀은 유지되고 있다 하더라도 대화하지 않는 기간이 길어지게 된다면 이 대화의 열정이 식을 수도 있다고 생각합니다. And speaking on the latest developments from Washington, President Moon said Seoul maintains channels of discussions open and said he had been informed about the letter beforehand and briefed on the context as well. He also added that even when there aren't official settings of talks, Kim and Trump are constantly exchanging letters and having dialogue, which is an indication that the momentum of dialogue is still in place. And prior to that, Sam, there was also the keynote speech. What were some of the sticking points? Right. President Moon addressing the audience at the very venue where Nobel Peace Prize were awarded announced his vision for peace for people, promising to make continued efforts to resolve the pain and suffering that the Korean people had suffered because of the issue of division. And he also said peace on the Korean Peninsula will be realized once all parties involved fully understand one another. <laughs> 서로를 이해하며 반목의 마음을 녹일 때 한반도의 평화도 대양에 다다르게 될 것입니다. President Moon also has another major speech in Sweden this Friday, where he will be addressing the Swedish parliament. So we should also look out for that speech coming up soon, as the president seems to be on a mission to deliver his agenda as he meets with his European counterparts, who have been helping facilitate talks with North Korea. Daniel? All right, thank you for that report.